I was pretty excited to get back on campus. I mean, I love the people and I love just the feel of being back close to your friends and seeing new people. Um, just having that atmosphere after being in quarantine for like six months kept me motivated. I kept working and just got my stuff packed and got here. My name is Yusuf Bakshi. I'm currently a sophomore living in Mather House. I arrived on campus on Tuesday, August 25th, and I came from the United Kingdom. Roughly a 12 hour journey. The flights were very empty, so I took a connecting flight via Amsterdam. Basically, because of the presidential proclamations, Europeans are still banned from America, so this 300 person plane only held 50 students. Hi, my name is Kimani Panthier, and I'm a first year at Harvard College. I arrived on Saturday, August 29th, and I moved in to Canada, where I'll be dorming this semester. So my family and I drove from Hempstead, Long Island, which is located in New York, and it took us roughly about three and a half hours to arrive here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So I just got in to the Science Center where I'm being tested for COVID-19. I must say the process is pretty smooth. I got my kit here and I'm ready to go. In terms of going to the testing area, that was primarily located in the Science Center area where upon arrival we were assigned to go there um, to get our initial testing, which is done through a company named Color and then pick up our pre-made meals from a truck nearby, which provided our meals for the next 24 hours. After that, I subsequently went to the building manager's office where I picked up my key and then started moving in and setting up my room. So for phase one of quarantine, we are supposed to stay in our dorms for 24 hours or until the first negative test result comes back. During that time, we are not allowed to leave our dorms and we can only go to the bathroom or leave in the event that there's an emergency. And then after our first negative test result comes back, we enter phase two. And during phase two, we can go for 30 minute walks with one other person and pick up our meals at our designated dining hall. And after phase two, we enter phase three, or like post phase two, and that is after the third negative test. After phase two ends, we are allowed to explore the Cambridge or Greater Boston area. So today is Thursday, August 27th, and I'm gonna unpack the meal that I just got from the Lowell D Hall. Um, there's a ton of options that they give you for entrees, sides, drinks, and even desserts. And today I wasn't super hungry, but this is what I grabbed for today. So first, as my entree, I got the Mediterranean ravioli and they have some sides of potatoes and green beans that go along with it. Next, I got this Santa Fe like side salad basically. I think it's a mix of pasta, vegetables, beans, etc. And again, they had lots of different types of side salads and everything. For dessert, I got a lemon burst square and they also had some other different types of cakes and brownies available. And then finally, I got apple juice as my drink. Picking up your food was in the dining hall. The hall of Mavid Hall was closed and it was just you had one, ex one encounter with the kitchen staff and you pick up a bagged meal with what you requested, they have the menu in front of you and you just say what you want. And so it's sort of like a buffet, but you don't pick it yourself. They pick it for you and they put it in a bag and they send it your way. Thank you. Testing overall this week was very smooth. 
each student on campus has to get tested three times a week. So I get tested every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And these days will vary between students. So sometimes it's staggered so that not all students are getting tested at the same time. So the things that are prohibited on campus really is not breaking your quarantine while you are doing it, whether that's not leaving your room during phase one or sort of not leaving your contiguous area around where you're living during phase two. Um, but also the strict rules that are that you have to maintain testing on your schedule. You can't like mess that up, not wearing a mask or breaking your sort of six feet apart limit or bringing someone into your room, throwing a party. All of the administration wants us to sort of have this community, but they also don't want to mess it up where we can all go home and lose the small sense of community that we might be able to create with the social distance measures. Also, I'm a PAF, so I've been working on my sort of entryway meetings and had my one-on-one -on -one PAF meetings with my PAFEs. So that's been pretty time consuming as well, but we've been really working on building virtual community in the entry. They are so fun and upbeat and just a great atmosphere every time we have our mandatory meetings. They're all so positive about the new experience and while everyone is nervous, including myself, of what the semester looks like, I think we've done a really good job of sort of having a lot of fun, having banter in our sort of mandatory events and sort of getting to know each other regardless of where we are. I'm confident in our student body that are currently on campus. I know for a fact that the upperclassmen know what's at stake because our learning environments at home mean we cannot afford to study there. So I'm sure that the upperclassmen are going to be very aware of the rules and guidance in place and will do the best they can to make sure a local outbreak doesn't occur. I also, however, am confident in our freshmen that they will help the rest of the student body by socially distancing and wearing masks and following all the guidance. I really believe that they can do it. I can't say I'm too excited for the first semester of online classes, especially when I'm a senior, um, but it is going to be an interesting semester. No one else can say that they have been through this uh, sort of experience and we're right at the point where we're going into either more school or jobs or whatever in this era where we, of uncertainty. So. You don't know what's going to happen, but hopefully something great can come out of it. We're living in a once-in-a-lifetime experience that Harvard never had. So we are in the history books and it's going to be exciting to see how our year plays out.